Hello guys, and I'm back with another video. I haven't been doing one for a while, I've been quite busy. Um, as you can see on the desk, it's a C-3PO helmet. It's a, uh, a vac-formed kit. I've done quite a lot of work on it, which I'll go through in a minute. So, basically, I wasn't going to film a video for this, um, but I started putting pictures up on my Facebook page. Um, if you haven't liked it, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, click on that, give us a like. Share it. I'm gonna have some competitions and stuff on there, so be a good place to be. Um, and a lot of people ask, am I gonna do some videos on how to get this to look like what 3PO does in the film with the chrome look? Um, being that this is a styrene kit, it's very very thin, as you can see. Um, vac metalization was out of the process because um, all the places I contacted don't do plastic, so I had to look at other means, um, and that's when I stumbled upon Gordon Tartley's. Um, C-3PO Chroman videos, so we're going to give that a go, so big thanks to him, also been in contact with him as well, and you've helped me out a bit, so again, thumbs up, so let's give it a go myself, so today now, we're going to be using um, Alclad Chrome, which is this stuff here, um, I've used this before, on this actual helmet, um, and then I tinted it with some Copic ink, it's what um, was in some of the videos that I saw, and the results, I just didn't like them. The helmet was too dark. The client who owned the helmet was having this done. He didn't like it either. So we're going down a new method. Um, the bottles tell you to put on a uh, either use an enamel black, gloss black base, base coat. Because the way the Alclad works is you lightly mist it over a very glossy surface and it gives them a, a, the effect of a chromed finish. Um, so we've gone for a white one now instead to hopefully lighten up the piece. So we'll be chroming, it, chroming this with the Alclad, buffing it to a mirrored finish, and then I've also purchased some of the new Alclad um, candy tinting lacquers. So we'll give that a go. I've got the golden one. Um, it was the last one on the site, I think. So hopefully this will work, because I haven't got any replacements if it doesn't. So let's get on with this. Now, move this one out of the way, because we're not going to chrome for both of them. Now, as you can see with the helmet, it's a vac form kit. What I've done is, I've gone ahead and I've applied a white primer. That has then been sanded all the way up to 600 grit sandpaper. Um, I then wire walled it, and then reprimed it. Um, and then I re-sanded that primer then with 1000 grit. Then I applied a gloss white acrylic. It says enamel, but I've used uh, acrylic before though on on the black and it works just as well. Um, so I've applied that and I've also then gone ahead and I've buffed it for about two maybe even three hours with this uh, super resin polish and it's given it this absolutely stunning oops, drop the wax. Sorry about that. And it's given this an absolutely beautiful finish. You can see the reflections in it and that's just off the white so hopefully we can get this super chromed with this alclad. I've gone ahead and glued the eyes in, which is resin pieces. So let's go ahead and chrome this. Okay, so here I am, all ready now to apply my alclad. Got my gloves on, got the respirator. There's this stuff, like the enamels that you saw in the Boba Fett videos. Um, it's also quite harmful, I believe. Um, not actually using this one, using this one. Um, it says you need, to, you need to get this a good shake. Um, as you can see, the metal particles inside, they do build up at the bottom. So get, make sure you give it a good a good shake. I, I shook this previously before I started filming for about a good two minutes. Um, also, um, it's very, very thin. It does, this stuff does not need to be thinned out. Um, I got, I'm got i running through a, an Iowa water at the moment, um, and my compressor is set to 15 PSI, and that will be enough to get this out onto the helmet. You don't need to do thick coats. Thin coats is key here. Um, it says on the bottle, maximum of two, so I think probably two will actually do it. Um, for watching those Gordon Tartley videos, which I will link in the comments below, um, which are really, really helpful if you fancy getting into Chrome in. Um, he says instantly, as soon as you spray it, spray it in sections and then buff. As this stuff dries really, really quickly. As soon as it touches, it's pretty much dry. So I've gone ahead and I purchased some 100% um, cotton um, buffing, uh, polishing cloths. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, buff into this helmet once we've got it all down. So you want to make sure, first of all, that there's no particles on the helmet. The, f the surface of the helmet needs to be perfect. 
otherwise it will, it will ruin the chrome finish. We want to make sure every little particle is off, every little fibre, a bit of dust, a bit of grit, hair, everything needs to be off. Just double check before you start. But we're going to go in into small sections, so we're going to go ahead and spray this, this one cheek by here first with the Alclad. So I'll go ahead and put my, my mask off, so you might not hear me so well, but I shouldn't have it on too long. Okay, so I've got the mask on, I've got the gloves on as well. Gloves as well, I recommend wearing the gloves to, just to stop any oil on your hands getting on the helmet. You've put all this work in, um, sanding, prepping, um, polishing. You don't want to ruin it with some grubby fingerprints, etc. So we'll go ahead now and we'll apply our Alcad. Now there's a little ball inside the bottle. You want to make sure that this doesn't go inside your nice airbrush. We'll go ahead. I'm not going to put a little bit in. Like I always say, put the lids back on everything, otherwise you will tip it. I have alcohol coming out, so we're going to go ahead now and gently spray this. And there's our first coat on. I think this actually needs a bit of buffing. I don't think I've gone actually... I haven't gone heavy enough, I don't think. I'll go ahead and put a bit more out there then. But, it's gone, you know. You really do power through this stuff. And it's, that's how much it costs, a bottle, so... You know, I got a, I got a full cup in there, as you, no, near enough a full cup. So I'm going to go ahead now. I hope this works. I'm going to go ahead now and buff this. So, okay, so I've gone ahead and I've applied all the Alclad. As you can see, it does look pretty impressive on film. Um, I've just started to buff it now. I was going to do it in sections, but I decided this to go all in one go, so I'm using this fibre cloth. I'm just working in circular motions now, just to, just to buff the piece. And this really embeds 
the owl clad into your, your base layer. I was a little apprehensive of, uh, of literally just buffing straight over what you just painted, but it appears to actually help it. It does give you a slightly better shine. It's not as shiny as I thought it would be. It's still, you can still see, you know, you've got a good, you can see the reflection of my hand in there. I'm try and show off some of the reflectivity on it. Yeah, you can see my hand in it. You know, it's, it's you can actually see me in it. It's pretty, it's pretty reflective. Not as what I thought it'd be. Um, I did do this with the black, and I gotta say, I, from what I can remember, I think the black was better. I don't know. I'm gonna keep on buffing this now. I never buffed. I didn't actually buff this on the black. That was pretty. My first ever go at doing it. I actually let it cure for 24 hours. Um, I don't know. Actually, this is looking quite promising. Um, like I said, put the first coat on very lightly. Because you'll find then any problems, like I had it all coming off down here and on this side down there as well. As soon as I started to buff it, it would all come off down here because I hadn't removed the polish, thoroughly enough. So you just quickly rub it, rub it, keep rubbing it, rub it right down, back down to the white, and then respray over then with the chrome. Okay, guys, and here he is. This is the finished, al well, I say finished, the near finished. Owl cladded C three PO. Try and give you a good little spin round of him. And it's incredibly the reflectivity on this is absolutely incredible. You can see my hand. It's not as clear as what um Gordon has, but like I said, it's it's not a necessity to have ultra reflectiveness. It's not gonna be a throne room C three PO, it's gonna be the uh uh, the Tatooine one, not not so heavily weathered as what you see in, in New Hope, just just a more lived in in feel. I still haven't um, chromed. I still haven't chromed all this section around here. Uh, neither have I chromed the uh, uh, the bolts or the top section here. So I'll be doing them all in one go. Um, but I tell you what, it's, I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with it actually. It's very, very nice. It's very reflective. You can, you know, this this is a plastic styrene kit. You know, this is a vac form piece, and it really does look like it's been vac metalized. You can you can see me. You can see the rest of the workshop in it. Look at the back. It looks like a pure mirror. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Alclad, you've done well with this stuff. Absolutely amazing. Really pleased with this. I don't actually want to tint it now, as I'm too scared. Really pleased with this. Uh, the eyes are a bit wonky, but that's what the kit come like. There's also a little, uh, a little hole section there, but I can't do anything with that. That's what the kit come like. So, but other than that, you know, look at it. The reflectivity on this is absolutely stunning. So I'll go ahead and I'll end this video here. Um, I don't actually have my alclad. Um, lacquer yet the the tint so I'll do a video when that comes um, and I'll probably tint it with that um, and then we'll uh, also weather it so this will be a two-part um, series just on this 3PO helmet